We are less than six hours away from 36 ports across the country's coast, including here in Texas, from potentially shutting down. Good evening and thanks for being here. I'm Brennan Gurley. That's because thousands of dock workers and port operators are trying to reach a labor deal by midnight to avoid a strike, the first one for dock workers in nearly 50 years. Our Jesus Martinez spoke to an economist to see what this could mean for your grocery bill and how East Texas farmers markets are hoping to fill in the gap. Everything from Maine to Texas. Up and down the East Coast and to the Gulf of Mexico. Which those ports handle about 91% of all containerized imports and about a third of all the containerized pharmaceutical imports. 45,000 dock workers could walk off the job, disrupting the supply chain if a labor deal between dock workers and an industry group representing port operators and shipping companies isn't reached by midnight tonight. The products that we would see impacted first would be those that are refrigerated or frozen because those refrigerated containers can't sit idle for very long. Dr. Carrie Camp is a marketing professor for UT Tyler. Possibly causing shortages and price increases. She says this looming strike and inflation have shifted consumer patterns. They're purchasing from local farmers markets and local produce, uh, um, the, the beef producers and poultry producers. We have those in this East Texas area. So These pumpkins are also really nice to put in stacks and decorate for any fall decor. Tanya Wolverton is the operations supervisor at Lake Tyler Farmers Market. So right now what we have in season is going to be tomatoes. We've got beef steak, but we've also got our wonderful orange tomatoes. They're going to be a low acid tomato that are really super sweet. She says they work closely with local farmers to get fresh fruit straight from the farmers to the market and then to consumers. The prices are not affected as much as you would see in like a big box store. With weeks away from Thanksgiving, Dr. Cam says the impact will not just be felt in the grocery store, but holiday shopping could also be impacted as well if the strike lasts longer than a month. My advice to consumers is go ahead and purchase those necessity items, things such as trying to get a 90 day supply of your pharmaceutical medications. Hopefully the strike will not last more than a couple weeks. Jesus Martinez, CBS 19.